sell W W E as soon as possible look for an exit point and sell I'm not saying to go out and sell tomorrow wait for wait for it to hit a hit a high or however you do your trades sell sell I had a video yesterday about Hulk Hogan Hollywood Hulk Hogan Terry Bole and I didn't like it that much it wasn't a very good video because I realized I was emotionally involved because he's like a family I've met the guy many years ago I've admired him he's from the same region of the country as I am we had the same car his first car was a 63 Ford Galaxy just like mine he comes from the same, excuse my language, redneck trash that I do. That's what he comes from. And he showed that he's more than redneck trash, that he has character, that he's, that he's a great man. And he's a greater man than me. And I admire him and respect him, and I don't appreciate the way he was treated. So it was a personal matter for me. So let's move forward. What does it mean? To me... What they're doing is similar to what Ray Liotta and Joe Pesci did in that movie, Goodfellas. They're busting out. They're busting out their business. They're selling it out. They're cutting it up. They're chopping it up. That's what they're doing. Uh, I know for sure Stephanie McMahon had sold a lot of her stocks. So why would somebody who has all this inside information that is smart as they are, smart as she is, she don't have to be smart herself. She's got a smart family. How, why would, and I think she is smart. Why would somebody that smart sell a stock in something like that? Why are that? Why are the insiders selling that? She needs money for drapes. Come on, it's no good. They're busting it out. They know they've had their run. They know they did their thing. They got all these idiots to go run by the stock, put in all that money. They got all that money. They took their money out, and now they're leaving. That's what they're doing. They're busting it out, and I think it's welcome can't be too soon for me because essentially what Vince McMahon did was he was a promoter and he did every dirty underhanded tactic he could do which is fine we live in an age of capitalism that's fine he made deals with with people and he double crossed them all just like the British at that double cross ranch you know as Ole Anderson put it He'd say, it'd be like, it'd be like your buddy comes by, because there was times in the territory days that if your main star, let's say, Jer like when Jerry Lawler broke his leg, Jerry Lawler, Lawler breaks his leg, he was the mainstay in the Memphis territory, he was the thing. They didn't do this, Jerry overcame it, I don't think he asked anybody for help. You know, he's not well respected by uh, some wrestlers, but he's a very good promoter, very good businessman. So, in those days, he could have called Portland or New York, back when Vince McMahon Sr. was up there, or Atlanta, some of the other territories, and said, can you bring somebody in here, and, you know, we'll, we'll fix you up later. They would, they would help each other out. They would support each other. They would loan each other money, do things for each other to keep each other going. That was the, that was the NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance, and they did that. Well, what McMahon did was went in there and, made deals with him, and he was ruthless and put them all out of business. And a lot of the stuff they did, they didn't treat their workers well, they didn't pay people, they ran them into the ground. So that's over. That's the past. I don't care. I'm just saying that what happened was Vince took advantage of that, and then he took all the creative stuff that they did. For instance, Hulk Hogan was an invention of Hulk Hogan and Vern Gagne. They're the ones who developed it. Mostly Hulk Hogan, if you believe Hulk Hogan. But I don't know if you can believe him. You know, he's a little loosey-goosey with things. You know, he's a little creative. He has a, he has a crea creative memory, if, if you will. But that's fine. You know, he's, he's a lot like my older brother, which is great. He's still my people. So what am I saying here? I'm saying first that I am personally involved with wrestling. And I think this, this thing about with, with uh, Hogan... Being thrown under the bus is signs that they're busting out the company. I think he was paid off. I think they realize the ship is sunk. They know it's done. McMahon is a very smart guy. He knows what's going on. He's just he's just selling it off. 
He's just getting rid of it. He's 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 going to get rid of this. He might have big shorts on it for all we know. Who knows? So get rid of your stock. Look for a good exit point. Number two, um, I think I'm number two. I, I, I was personally involved with this, and I need to deal with it. A lot of us are personally involved. We need to forget it. He's our memory. He is not Hulk Hogan anymore. He's he's Terry Boulay now. He's not that. He needs to forget his hair character. He needs to cut his hair, get a new hairstyle, uh, shave his face, and come out and reinvent himself. And I pray, think he probably will. We all do. We all need to reinvent ourselves. That's number two. And number three, I think it's welcome because we may actually see the territories rise again. I hope so. If not, that's cool. I got plenty of things to do. I don't need that. Peace.